Hello guys. This is for Ankara lovers. If you like Ankara and you like simple something, come closer. Let us do this simple head wrap together. So what I'm holding is one yard of Ankara material. It's not more than one yard. So just watch my hand. I'm working with the length. The side that is very longer. So do you see what I did? I have to grab it little by little, then hold both of them. Start from my back to the front. So I'm trying to adjust it to, to make sure that it's not the back I am working with. All these are the things that you should you should note whenever you are watching my video. Note all these things down. Don't be in a hurry to just do it anyhow. Then when you get to the place you are going, people will start looking at you as if you are insane. So I'm going to knot it only once at the front. I just tied it only once. So hope you are watching what I am doing. Hope you are watching. Because this style, this style is very, very simple. It's simple. I think I've done something like this. No, no, I've not. This is my first time of doing something like this. So after tying it once at the front, this side that is down, I will make sure... I work with the front. The front should be facing the camera as in, as in the, the front of the material comes first while the, the back goes inside. So I will start by opening it first. I will open it, up, spread it wide. Then after that, I will start. So after spreading it wide, See what I will do. I don't want those uh, edge, all those lines to show. So I'll be folding them inside gradually. I will fold, then pin. I will fold. But if the material you are using is not like this one, that, that as in doesn't have uh, all these lines, because I don't want it to show. If your material don't bother doing this aspect, you just do it one way, pin both together. But because I don't want the lines to show, so I will fold them in, then use my pin to hold it. Hope you understand this very aspect. This same thing I did here, but before I will go to the back, you see this edge, I will pin it there. Because I don't want it to be waving around. I will pin it down there. So if today is the first time you are coming across my video, after watching, please, I'm begging you. My knees are on the ground. We rise by lifting each other. Please just click on the like button and the comment button. Tell me that you like it or just just like. Oh, So this same thing I did to the front, I will do it to the one that is in. But before I will go on, I will pin the edge first. This first edge, I will pin it down. Then I will start folding those lines inside i will fold i will pin I, I will fold i will pin that is how i pinned all of them to make sure that the lines are not showing then this second edge i will drag it down then pin it there hope hope you are following up with what i'm doing please just try your hands Practice whatever you watch. Don't just watch and relax and and feel as if maybe you can't do it. You can do it. Just practice it. I was not born with this. It was practice that brought me this far. So, see what I will do next. I will drag them together. I will push that first one backward. Then push the one that is inside front as in make them to come together Why I pin it from behind. All I'm trying to do is to make it stand. To make it stand and look firm. So I will still pin from behind. The essence of doing that back one, if not, I would have just did the first one as in the first line and leave it. But that, that back one is to make it stand very well and also give it weight somehow. So this edge I pinned before fall out, so I have to repin it again. While I'm fast forwarding it, I don't want this video to exceed seven minutes. So just take your time and watch it. So I am done pinning it. I am done pinning both of them together. It's gradually making sense. It's gradually making sense. It's beautiful already. Beautiful as the person 
tying the kelly so if you like it if you are going to try it please drop a comment in the comment section please i'm begging you so but trust me now i'm mommy g if you tell me to do more styles from this one, if you tell me to do at least three styles, three different styles from this very head wrap, I will still do it. But for the sake of time, I'm going to do only one again. So sit back and watch. This edge, I will unpin it. After I'll first of all unpin the first one. Then drag that edge. Look at, just watch my hand here. I will drag it, then join it to the other one again. I will drag it and pin it there. So just look at it to make it have something like C curve at that side. Then the one that is inside again, I will unpin. Just watch what I will do. I will unpin that one. Then drag it, bring it under the first one I dragged. <laughs> so do you, did you see it? Say so it's making sense. This one and the other one, which one do you like? This one is at this. Look at it now. This one is somehow trickish. It's fine, lovely. I wanted to pin from behind, but it was difficult. I decided to pin from front because it's a cara, the pin won't be noticeable from the front. So I am done with this style now. Which one do you like? Do you prefer the first one that is just without any trick or this one? Which one do you like? So I have to turn around for you to see it. My hair is all over the place. So this style is for people that always do shakara. People that want to show their, their one million hair. <laughs> so I am done. I have to bring it out for you to see that you can also do it and keep. Just, just try your hands. Do it. Keep it. Because there is enough pin on it. That is why it can't shake. Did you see it? I have to wear it, but this time around, it's not by the side again, but at the center. So, which one do you prefer? Please, I need your feedback. Drop your comment in the comment section. For those sharing my videos, God bless you. I love you so much. Keep sharing. Keep sharing. I'm begging you. Share to your loved ones, even to your enemies. Just share. Thank you guys for watching. See you in my next video. Love you.